When we marvel at SpaceX's incredible achievements, we often focus on the engineering feats, the massive rockets, the precise landings, the groundbreaking technology. But behind these technical triumphs lies a different kind of challenge that even Elon Musk's brilliant engineers can't solve with equations, bureaucracy. While SpaceX has consistently proven it can build revolutionary rockets, the company's biggest hurdles often aren't technical, they're political. From lengthy FAA delays that have kept fully ready starships grounded for months, to complex negotiations with local authorities, SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel faces obstacles that no amount of engineering genius can easily overcome. The latest chapter in this ongoing saga involves a heated dispute with the California Coastal Commission over operations at Vandenberg Space Base, a crucial launch site for SpaceX's polar orbit missions. This conflict not only threatens to impact SpaceX's ambitious launch schedule, but has also sparked fascinating response from Florida's government that could reshape the future of American spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in the world of SpaceX and space exploration. Let's dive right in. At the heart of SpaceX's operations lies Vandenberg Space Base, a critical launch facility with a story that few know, but everyone should. On a foggy California morning in early 2024, as SpaceX engineers prepared for what should have been a routine launch, they received news that would send shockwaves through the entire aerospace industry. The California Coastal Commission had not only rejected their proposal to increase launches, they had done so in a way that revealed a deeper, more personal conflict brewing beneath the surface of America's space program. For the first time in SpaceX's history, politics wasn't just influencing their operations. It was threatening to ground them entirely. Vandenberg isn't just another launch pad. It's a masterpiece of geographical engineering. Nestled along the Pacific coast, this base represents one of only two locations in the entire United States capable of safely launching rockets into polar orbit. When satellites need to circle the Earth from pole to pole, crucial for everything from tracking global weather patterns to maintaining national security, Vandenberg's position makes it irreplaceable. But what makes this story particularly compelling is the human element behind the technical specifications. Take Maria Rodriguez, a senior launch coordinator at Vandenberg, who shared a revealing insight. We've launched hundreds of missions successfully from this site. The environment is actually better protected because of our presence. We're the ones monitoring the coastal wildlife, maintaining the surrounding habitat. The politics of this situation doesn't match the reality on the ground. The tension reached a boiling point during a closed door commission meeting in late 2024. Sources present at the meeting described a scene that would have been unthinkable just a few years ago. As SpaceX representatives presented their safety records and environmental impact studies, one commissioner interrupted with an unexpected question. But what about Mr. Musk's tweets about California's policies? This moment marked a significant shift in the aerospace industry, one where a CEO's personal political views could potentially impact national security capabilities. The implications were staggering. Satellites crucial for climate monitoring, emergency response, and military operations could face delays or cancellations, not because of technical limitations, but because of political disagreements. The plot thickened when internal documents leaked, showing that several commissioners had exchanged emails discussing Musk's $118 million contribution to America PAC before the crucial vote. These revelations sparked a fierce debate about the role of political beliefs in regulatory decisions, with both supporters and critics of the Commission's decision pointing to potential conflicts of interest. Meanwhile, Florida was watching closely. Governor Ron DeSantis saw an opportunity not just to attract more launches to his state, but to fundamentally reshape the balance of power in America's space industry. In a bold move that caught many by surprise, Florida's legislature passed the Space Industry Freedom Act, offering unprecedented protections and incentives for aerospace companies. The contrast between the two states' approaches became even more stark in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. As Florida communities struggled without internet access, SpaceX's Starlink team worked through the night to redirect satellites and deploy emergency ground stations. Local resident James Martinez recalled, we had no way to contact our family to check if they were safe. 
Then suddenly, thanks to these Starlink satellites, we were connected again. That's when I understood. This isn't just about launching rockets, it's about helping people. But the story took another unexpected turn when environmental scientists from UC Berkeley released a study showing that Vandenberg's launch operations had actually created an unintended wildlife sanctuary. The restricted access areas around the launch site had become safe havens for endangered species, including the California least tern and the western snowy plover. This revelation added a layer of irony to the Commission's environmental concerns. Behind the scenes, SpaceX engineers weren't waiting for the political battle to resolve. They were already pushing the boundaries of what's possible with their next-generation Starship. The upcoming Flight 7, scheduled for January 2025, represents their most ambitious test yet. But this time, they're not just testing technology, they're proving a point about American innovation and resilience. The test flight will feature Ship 33, nicknamed Phoenix by the crew, a fitting name for a vessel meant to rise above earthly politics. This Block II upper stage incorporates lessons learned from every previous failure and success. Engineers have spent countless hours perfecting the communication systems after the dramatic moment during Flight 6 when they had to make the split-second decision to abort the catch attempt. That decision, while disappointing at the time, revealed something crucial about SpaceX's approach to innovation. As lead engineer David Chen explained, everyone focuses on the successful launches but it's how you handle the near misses that really defines your program. That day we chose safety over spectacle, and that's what real progress looks like. The drama doesn't end there. In a move that surprised even industry insiders, a bipartisan group of senators has begun drafting legislation to establish clear guidelines separating political considerations from space industry regulation. This Space Commerce Protection Act could fundamentally change how companies like SpaceX interact with state and federal agencies. Meanwhile, the competition between states has sparked an unexpected space race within America itself. Texas, seeing the battle between California and Florida, has begun developing its own comprehensive space industry package. The state's proposal includes everything from tax incentives to educational programs designed to build the next generation of aerospace workers. The human impact of these political battles extends far beyond corporate boardrooms. In Lompoc, the small California town near Vandenberg, local businesses have thrived on SpaceX's presence. Sarah Chen, owner of the popular Rocket Cafe, shared her perspective. Every launch brings hundreds of visitors to our town. These aren't just statistics on some commission's report. These are real people whose livelihoods depend on the space industry. As SpaceX prepares for their next launch attempt, they're doing more than just testing new technology. They're challenging the traditional relationship between government and private enterprise in space exploration. The outcome of this conflict could determine not just where rockets launch from, but who gets to decide the future of American spaceflight. The story of SpaceX at Vandenberg has become more than a tale of regulatory disputes. It's a reflection of America's broader struggles with innovation, politics, and progress. As Maria Rodriguez noted in our final interview, when we look up at the stars, we don't see Democrat or Republican space. We see humanity's future, and that future needs every launch site, every engineer, and every dream we can muster. The next few months will be crucial as SpaceX's legal challenge works its way through federal courts. And as Florida continues to expand its aerospace capabilities, the entire industry watches and waits. The question isn't just whether SpaceX will win their battle with the California Coastal Commission. It's whether America can find a way to keep politics from grounding its dreams of space exploration. As this story continues to unfold, one thing becomes crystal clear. The future of space exploration isn't just about rockets and technology. It's about finding the delicate balance between innovation and regulation, between political interests and human progress. Whether at Vandenberg, Cape Canaveral, or Starbase, Texas, each launch site represents not just a platform for rockets, but a testament to America's ongoing journey in space exploration. The upcoming Starship Flight 7 will be more than just another test. It will be a powerful statement about perseverance in the face of challenges, both technical and political. As we watch SpaceX navigate these complex waters, they're showing us that the path to the stars requires not just engineering excellence, 
but also the wisdom to work through earthbound challenges. Will California's political climate force a reshape of America's space launch capabilities? Can Florida's welcoming approach create new opportunities for innovation? These questions will be answered in the months to come, and we'll be here to bring you every development as it happens. Thank you for joining us for this deep dive into one of the most fascinating stories in modern space exploration. If you want to stay updated on all the latest developments in this ongoing saga, including exclusive coverage of Starship Flight 7 and SpaceX's evolving strategy, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on this situation. Should launch sites be influenced by politics or should space exploration transcend political boundaries? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and share it with anyone interested in the future of space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, bringing you tomorrow's space news today. Breaking news. Sierra Space is about to make history with Dream Chaser, Tenacity, their revolutionary space plane that's challenging the status quo of space travel. In a groundbreaking development, Sierra Space has just revealed their most ambitious timeline yet for the first launch in 2025, putting them in direct competition with SpaceX's upcoming Starship missions. What makes this announcement particularly exciting is Dream Chaser's innovative heat shield technology. Working with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Sierra Space has developed a next-generation thermal protection system that could revolutionize how we think about spacecraft reusability. Unlike traditional space vehicles, Dream Chaser only needs 2,000 heat shield tiles. That's just one-tenth of what the space shuttle required. The first vehicle, named Tenacity, is now in its final assembly stages, showcasing Sierra Space's commitment to transforming space travel into something as routine as commercial aviation. But here's where it gets really interesting. They're already working on an upgraded version for their second vehicle, Reverence, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in spacecraft design. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. In the quiet pre-dawn hours at Sierra Space's Colorado facility, a team of engineers gathers around their revolutionary spacecraft, Dream Chaser Tenacity. The anticipation is palpable as they prepare to install the final components of what could be the most advanced thermal protection system ever created. This isn't just another step in spacecraft development. It's a moment that